Hello everyone, welcome to LaFontaine Classic Cars. Uh, tuning in here with the 70 Cuda and McKenzie. We're gonna go through this car, pop the hood, show you inside the trunk, underneath it. Who knows what else? I know it's packing a 440 with the six pack. I wanna take a closer look. Come along. We got a lot to check out, a lot to cover. This is a rotisserie restored car. It's uh, had a few miles put on it since, but boy, does it show well. Um, my goal here today is, like I might have mentioned, get the up close and personal look. So the finish they put in the inlay here, even down in that lower part of the grill, it's called the Dark Argent. It kind of has a textured finish to it. And sometimes when you see that get laid on, it gets wavy, you can see zebra stripes in it. This thing looks great. And then one thing pretty neat, I always like on the Kudas, these look like they belong on the underside of an airplane. Um, those little indicator lights for your, your turn signals, pretty slick, pretty slick stuff. Um, lower valence, that is steel and it's without blemish. This thing hasn't been parked on a curb. All our lights, our lenses, our bright work, everything is looking sweet. And we are optioned with the hood pins. Can we do it? Oh. Two part latch. Woo. That is a clean engine compartment. Um, love, love the N96 shaker. That graphic, the big opening. I mean, this thing is pretty badass. And uh, you look down in here, there's glossy, glossy paint everywhere, even down onto the, those frame rails. This thing is clean as a whistle. One thing I like that they've done to this, but kept that stock look. It has a updated aluminum radiator. It has dual electric fans on that radiator. We had vintage air compressor tucked up underneath that shaker. And this is a power steering, power brake car. Now power brakes are great. You could have had power drums on this car if you wanted. They've actually put Willwoods they're finished in black, they blend in, they almost look stock if you're not looking for them. A nice touch, this is a car you can really drive and enjoy and put through its paces if you want to. Next, we're gonna roll down the side of the car, stopping at these front wheels. You sport a brand new set of BF Goodrich radials. Those things look sweet. You notice the dark argent again on the center caps. That is correct and the right finish for this Cuda. I like it, I like it. We come down, let's take a, a good look at the fitment, the spacing of the gaps there. Man, it is right on. Paint match mirror, very slick. Nice flushed in finish with the brush on it. Man, the detail is great for the year. Very nice. Got our 440 decal coming around out back here. Dig that. Now, if you kind of take my point of view you look down at them tires it's got a just a nice tough meaty stance i really dig the wheel tire combo on this that's a 275 out back so plenty of grip on the ground help you hook up come out back another good angle everywhere you look at this car it just looks tough um, we got dual stainless exhaust exiting right out of the valence which is pretty slick i like the blacked out tail panel with the CUDA badge. Very nice, very nice, all this stuff. The detail is not missed, the lenses, the finish, everything is just on point. All right, we got the keys. We'll dive on in here. Oh boy, this thing is dialed in. Very, very clean throughout. It's a little dark in here. I want you guys to see all this detail. Don't mind me, but the inner quarters, the tubs, the hinge. God, everything is not a speck of dust, dirt in the paint, just clean as a whistle. This is a very hard piece to find. Cool to see it's still in here. And let's check out our trunk pan. Huh, looks like the rest of the car. Um, when they rotisserie these things, they literally get every inch. That's how they look like the 
outside of the you know the paint job on my daily everywhere it's pretty damn cool seals look good original jack instructions and then something you haven't seen in your 70 cuda before this is a uh, kind of a two-in-one works as a speaker and a little subwoofer um, it's all integrated wait till we show you the interior it's got a little bit of retro going on Down the side of the car, got nothing, nothing that jumps out, looks out of place. This car looks brand new on the exterior. It's really, really clean. All of the trim is right. The badgings, we talked about having the correct dark argent center caps. Even the little Chrysler Penstar down on the bottom of that fender. I and mean, this is a high level car and I really dig it because it's been built up in a way that you could really put it to work, really enjoy it. Um, and put new life into something from the 70s. Door opens very nicely. Door card looks very nice. Cuda badging over here. This little mirror articulates that one real nice. Um, crank windows. A nice wood wheel here. And my secret weapon for the day. Get you guys a good look. Got a little bit of light. Brighten this thing up for you. We have a mint looking dash pad. The clarity of the lenses over all of these gauges is really like new um, speed of going up to 120 we have a fuel gauge temp for the coolant alternator and then just a blank over there um, dimmer switch headlamps power wipers this is a 727 automatic shifted on the column which is slick got a lot of room people want to crawl through or who knows what seats look very good Seats feel very good. That Barracuda. Look at this vintage air kit downstairs. Looks totally stock. A um, couple of vent pulls, our carb air. If we want to work that shaker a little bit. Carpet kit is nice. Seats, I think I might have mentioned, are in really nice shape. Dome lights working. The back of this car just keeps getting better. That package tray looks mint. The glass is wonderful. All the hardware is there, nothing missing. And the headliner leaves you nothing to complain, just bragging points in here. Boom! You open up your ashtray compartment and you notice this little piece just sitting here in the tray. That is to pair a stock radio or stock appearing radio with Bluetooth. This thing has been updated a bit to AM with FM um, and it's crystal clear, which I like, but you can pair right to this, hook up, play whatever you like. Maybe even a little bum ba dum ba dum bum bum bum. You know where we're going. Now, as simple as a pole here, your system's disconnected and you can get your stock factory. Let's smoke them up lighter right in there. And one more thing down over here. Clean, nice and trimmed out glove box. Um, yeah, it looks like a brand new part along with a whole bunch of stuff in this car. Very good, folks. Very good. All right, we have it up in the sky now. Want to get you guys a quick walkthrough um, front to back here. 
So starting off this lower valence, I don't see any markings, dense things. It's never been uh, jammed into a curb. And then our radiator support um, trimmed out very nicely. This thing is so clean and straight. All this metal is solid as can be. Uh, behind that, we have our aluminum radiator that really looks like a stock piece, but it's got a trans cooler on it. Nice hoses. You see our dual electric polar fans on there looking good. And we take a peek up inside of there, all this nice stuff I've been talking about. You can finally get a look at it. Those are Willwood four piston calipers. Got a little wire tie on there. We were taking no chances. Rotors look good. Um, ball joints, tie rod ends, um, this whole drag link, everything, all the bushings look great. And I know we've greased the whole chassis. Now you take a peek up in this region. You notice that nice transition of paint to the factory undercoat. Still holding up and looking great. Um, bottom of the motor and transmission are clean and dry. Looks like new bushing up here on the trans. Everything protected from the heat just the way you'd like it. And you notice we've got a couple of these fancy clamps. That is a, a V-band clamp. You take a bolt off, there's no paper gasket or anything in between it. It literally just couples two steel flanges together. So really easy to service. You don't have to worry about uh, um, those ever failing, which is cool. Floor pans look great. Again, with that undercoat, really did its job and preserved this thing. Big axle out back looks good. Brake lines look newer. Um, shocks look good. Exhaust looks great. Tank nice, dent free. And you look at our rear valence out here. Clean, tips come out pretty symmetrically. Tight car. We'll see you in a sec. Hey guys, a couple of highlights I wanted to share before we let you go. This is a numbers matching car. This is the Born With 440 under the hood. Kick ass, big green check mark on my list. This has the original broadcast sheet. <laughs> that is a piece of paper from the day that has been babied with this car its whole life. A true testament of how this has been cared for when you see the condition of the original paper. And it shows you this car is correct. Another big green check mark there. This is a factory high impact sublime green car with an original N96 shaker. This car is right. It checks all the boxes. If you want to know anything more, see anything more, please do not hesitate. You can dial us at 248-714-2110. Be happy to answer any questions about the vehicle, show you anything on this vehicle, and of course, let you know about the process, shipping. Um, we even do financing. So it's uh, all painless over here at La Fontaine. My pleasure. I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can check out the full listing, all the underbody close-ups, all the castings, all the stampings. We're running on here. Thank you from La Fontaine Classic Cars. It is always my treat. We look forward to see you in the next video. Like and subscribe.